This is Chalk Hill Chardonnay Estate Bottle 2007. Now this wine comes from a single vineyard block on the Chalk Hill Estate. And the appellation is Chalk Hill Russian River Valley. Um, what they've done is they've determined that Chalk Hill is now part of the larger Russian River Valley appellation. And so they include that on the label. Um, but in fact, it's a little bit um, further inland from Russian River, and it's um, overall slightly warmer and uh, has a higher elevation. And Chalk Hill Estate um, was founded in the 70s. They've uh, pr been producing Chardonnay from there for many years. That's gotten a lot of attention, accolades, raves over the years. Um, something about the soil, the microclimate, the terroir, the Chardonnay just, just really blossoms there. Um, you have a, it's basically a fairly warm climate so that, you know, that additional um, level of temperature just brings a little more ripeness to the, to the fruit. But it's still moderated, it's still tempered by um, the fog, the cooling breezes that come in from the coast. Um, and then you also have the soil. You know, there's a there's a topsoil that varies throughout throughout the um, the Appalachian, but underneath is this all this volcanic chalky soil that gave the region its name. And Chardonnay does very well; the vines do very well in that soil. So they um, harvest the grapes all, as I say, from the one vineyard block. And then they barrel ferment everything, 100% barrel fermented. About half of the barrels are new barrels, all on native yeasts, so they don't introduce any yeasts from anywhere else outside the region. Um, this is uh, some becoming a more common practice because you, you find that, you know, depending on what yeast you use, it can really um, affect how the wine turns out add different flavor components to the wine that maybe you're not expecting. So in native yeasts, you know, for the most part, you don't get any surprises. Um, the barrel fermentation, of course, gives you a, uh, a richer wine with more complexity because the wine sits and rests on the lees and you stir those lees up and it gives it a lot of um, richness. And of course, the barrels themselves impart flavor on the wine. Anyway, let's move on and smell, mm. really rich, creamy nose, real creme brulee on here. A little bit of pineapple. Some, um, like a orange note also. Mm. That's pretty, like orange, uh, orange marmalade or orange peel, something like that. And a nice little toasty vanilla note as well. Let's try it. This is big and fat on the palate. They do 100% malolactic fermentation on this, which gives it that buttery quality and a lot more richness. And you get real butterscotch on this. Um, I'm still getting some of those nice tropical notes like uh, mango and pineapple. And I get a little bit of that tangy um, citrus note as well, but I get 
in the mid palate, it really just opens up with real rich creaminess, creaminess, uh, custardy, vanilla, creme brulee. Big fat Chardonnay. They bottle this actually unfiltered, unfined. So you see that it's maybe a hint cloudy, but um, really adds to the complexity of the wine. Very nice stuff. Enjoy.